Hi, it's Julie Jordan Scott, and I am so grateful for your presence when you come in and watch my videos. Today, we're talking about writing again, or the creative process at all, and how to keep it going, even where you, when you are in a place of dry and hot and sticky, you know, summer. <laughs> so either you're at your home place, which is hot and dry, like where I am right now, or you may be on vacation, and that's a whole nother reason to lose your creative flow. So I'm going to give you three simple tips to staying in the flow in the summer. Stand by for some great information. First and foremost, literally any time of year in any place, is to stay true to your creative practice. Stay true to your creative practice, no matter how exciting or how uninteresting your current place is during the summer. If you keep up your creative practice, you will get into flow. Number two is take time to try something new and then do that new for 21 days. Now you might say, oh my gosh, start something new when it's 98 degrees outside and humid or try something new when it's so hot outside when I open the door to my, from my air conditioned house, I feel like I'm stepping into an oven. I would like to challenge you to challenge that and try something new and then stick with it for at least 21 days. Because after 21 days, you'll know if the if the practice was suited to you. So something that I do during the summer is called, have fun, is um, index card art. So let me show you what I created here. It's not very good. Okay, I'm working on faces. Look at this one, not very good. Not very good at all. But the more I keep coming back, the better off my art will become, don't you think? So, number two, try something new and keep at it, stick with it for 21 days. Number three, number three is practice radical self-care. Even when you feel like you are nothing more than a rider on a tumbleweed across the barren summer landscape. If you practice radical self-care, your creativity will flow. It truly, truly will. So what will you do during this summer season? When you go on vacation, will you bring your notebook and continue to write? Maybe you'll create index card art small art with big heart. Maybe you'll try something new. Instead of taking photos of just landscapes, take photos of landscapes with people. Or maybe you'll try some new editing program just for fun for 21 days in a row and see what happens. And then again, there's practicing radical self-care. Radical self-care. This might mean doing things that only you like, not worrying if other people around you like it. This may mean the typical massage or or manicure, pedicure. This may mean going to a movie with girlfriends once a week. Maybe starting a new book club. Just be open to different kinds of self-care. Ask what your friends do and then emulate it for yourself. I'm Julie Jordan Scott, Creative Life Midwife. I'm so glad you are here. I'm going to be doing a lot about writing in the months to come, so I hope that you will watch and enjoy these videos as I bring them forward, especially for you.